Good morning, Mission Control. Well, it's cold outside. It's just above freezing out, and we're supposed to get up to 10 inches of snow. Uh, now, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Right now, it's just really cold and rainy. But if it keeps up uh, as far as the forecast goes, then there's a good chance we could uh, see at least a good dusting probably at minimum. But they've issued a winter weather advisory, so uh, that's the first step. Uh, we're going to start watching for it. Pretty much ready uh, overall here on the homestead, the Martian homestead. Uh, I haven't hooked up the snowblower yet. Uh, I can't really until I get the insulation up on the inside of the building. I still need to get, uh, oh, and the reason for that is all the insulation is inside the barn. I'm going to show you that here today. Um, I also need to go get more hay, which I have stored at another location because our barn's too small. Uh, and I need to go pick it up before the real snow shows up so I can get my trailer in and out of the location without any problems and uh, just be safe in general. So those are two stress-causing events. Uh, the snowblower is less stressful than the actual hay because we really need the hay. Uh, and I can always, I got big four-wheel drive so snow is not that big a deal. But it's still nice. So uh, what we need to do is we need to get that insulation out of the barn and into here. And the only way to do that is to put it up. So today I am going to start off trying to learn because I don't know how to do it. I've talked to the manufacturer, they gave me the instructions. I wrote, well I put them over there. I wrote my own instructions based on the videos and stuff they sent me. So we're gonna start with the east end. It's the hardest end to do. Uh, we're gonna start there uh, and work our way out. Do lots of cutting uh, to shape everything. Since we've got the fan and the sink and the heaters and all that kind of stuff. Try to get that done and get this end sealed up. And then we'll move to the west end where we still need to put the uh, exhaust fan inlet outlets uh, up so there's some custom work there. I imagine that's as far as I'll get today. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be shocked if I made it too much further than that. And once we get the ends insulated, we'll start going up on the sides, up to the elbows, and then we'll do the north side on the ceiling. Uh, and once we get to that point, basically three quarters of the building will then be insulated and we'll just have the big clear area above me which requires all those custom sections to be built. So, that's where we're at. I need to go look at all the parts they sent me. Uh, I know some of you don't like the, the first person head camera, but today uh, I'm gonna have to use it just because it's just me and uh, I'm gonna try to get you good shots with this camera, but I'm also gonna need to show you all the other stuff with the other camera. So, have some grace, have mercy on me uh, in the comments there. I know it's not the greatest thing, but it's what I'm gonna have to do today just so I can get this stuff done. Uh, Definitely worn down and uh, just looking forward to getting this completed. So I'm going to stop talking and get to work. All right, one of the first things I have to do is I've got to get all these parts here uh, inside so I can actually see what we got. All right, tape. That makes some good sense there. Kind of know what to do with tape. What I'm not seeing. Oh, there's got to be screws in there too, I hope. Otherwise, we gotta go to the hardware store. Oh, that hurt. Oh man, everything hurts when you're cold. I already made my first mistake. This box was really, really wet and it contains uh, the vertical holder straps. So I, I didn't know it, uh, but the box is actually meant to have the strap pulled out of it. So as soon as I opened it, it completely sprung on me. I got a crow's nest of metal, uh, but regardless of that, we'll deal with it. I wanted to show you. This is the vertical support section. You can see the arrows here that point up. The idea, I guess, uh, essentially these are like meat hooks, right? Now, I'm gonna tell you, I, I've never done this. So I am not in any way, shape, or form telling you that this is how it should be done. Uh, I'm learning as I go, so uh, don't think that my video here is an instructional one. It's more like documenting the craziness of my life and just getting stuff done. 
So what we gotta do is we gotta, any place where everything's gonna be vertical, the insulation's gonna be purely straight up and down, we've gotta have one of these straps hanging and then the insulation hangs on it and this grabs the batten in the back of it. Then on the top of the insulation, we'll run metal straps horizontally to hold uh, the insulation in place uh, so it can't wobble back and forth. So what I gotta do now is climb up on the ladder and hang our first strap. And uh, yeah, this might be some trial and error here. I have lots of little screws I gotta put in today. We're gonna go through lots of batteries today. So the really hard thing is I can't can't get a good solid counter grip to put solid pressure on. So my feet are pressing down on the ladder. I'm giving her all I got, Captain. This ain't working. <laughs> 